Lecture 7 Photographing Exteriors and Lifestyle Facilities Potential buyers and renters generally look for the street appeal of the front facade, privacy levels, presentation of the gardens, and landscape maintenance level of the yards or courtyard space. Other important features for some people include ease of access for vehicles and whether the property includes a pool, shed, or other lifestyle amenities. You should aim to capture the front exterior photo at the best possible angle, as you will most likely use this as the hero shot in your online listing. And therefore, this will be the first photograph a potential buyer or renter sees online. Using the tripod fully extended for maximum height, position the camera where the composition shows the entire house if possible, but also shows any important features if required. For example, a secure fence, landscaping, or carport. When shooting a backyard or a courtyard, your main focus will be the pool, deck, patio, or other features that need to be highlighted in this space. Some of the challenges in photographing exteriors, especially apartment buildings, is not having control over cars and large items of clutter, such as clothes drying racks and garbage bins. PropertyRender.com can remove these items to better present your images and so you don't have to stress out on site. Example 1 This house exterior was photographed on an iPhone X just using the inbuilt default camera without any HDR setting turned on. So the original image is just one JPEG image photographed at f2.2 at 1 640th of a second with an ISO of 40. This is the original image on the left. As you can see, through PropertyRender.com services, the agent has had the car removed through the item removal service, and the rest of the image has been retouched to improve grass, clean driveway, and replace the sky in addition to other important adjustments. The result is a professional-looking real estate photo, ready for an online listing. Example 2 This example is of an apartment complex that has been photographed with the landscaping in the foreground, leading the viewer's eye up to the building facade. It was captured using a Nikon D750 DSLR with three exposures, one overexposed, one neutral, one underexposed. Example 3. The photo of this view was captured on a 2012 model Panasonic DMC TZ30 point-and-shoot digital camera in auto mode, while set up on a tripod at approximately 1.6 meters. The camera captured the exposure automatically at an aperture of f8 and a shutter speed of 1 125th of a second. The composition includes part of the balcony railing in the bottom right corner of the frame to provide the viewer with a true perspective of the view and the proximity to the parklands and broadwater in the distance. Example 4 this image compromises three bracketed exposures captured to cover a limited dynamic range between the sky, building facades, and foreground with an optimal exposure of 1 500ths of a second at f11. The composition for this rooftop pool photo was designed to show the deck and sitting space on the left, the wet edge pool in the foreground, and the view's city skyline in the distance. Lowering the height of the camera would have hidden the neighboring houses and put more of an emphasis on the city skyline. However, the trees add a nice touch of greenery to the image. The right edge of the image is cropped by the wooden deck for consistency, with the pool deck on the left edge of the image. 